that moon still no connection but it's got a little bit of hope it's got a little bit of hope let's see how much extra transmit power will we need 37 oh uh, that's okay no, that's not too bad the gain yes this is 1.5 dbi and then these are three so now what do i do with that number it seems to have less power consumption. If I do that, is it gonna block the solar panel? Maybe the key is that there's less power consumption. Let me not have any transmit power from you. That allow me to control it. So that's 26 watts. So the benefit of the DBI is to reduce our power consumption. Okay, um, so yeah, maybe we, uh, since we don't really need this thing to transmit Let's just have antenna disabled then. Uh, since we can get to the moon though, we'll have the other experiments that we didn't have on the previous probe. So let's configure experiments and the, those have less cost. That'll allow us to get closer to the moon on the mid-course adjustment, I hope. We had the early TV camera, but we weren't getting close to the moon. Radiation detector is a bit hefty, 1.97 megabytes. 2.62 megabytes. One kilobyte is nicer. I guess if we can get to space low around the moon, we can do more. Okay, so this probe right now is 0.202 tons. So we're just a little bit too heavy. Um, that's mostly the solar panel, but I can probably reduce the size of the solar panels just a little bit right now. Just, uh, we'll get as much solar panel as we can fit in 0.2 tons. And we got the one bit. Um, shut down avionics. It looks like we have nearly double. According to it. Assuming the right orientation. We can actually increase the size of this because I had constrained it based on the one ton limit that we originally had planned for the core, but we don't have that limit anymore. But let's attach it here first and then try and resize it so that we don't overburden the next stage. I mean, it's sort of diminishing returns. And then of course we're increasing the burn time on the AJ-1027. Here it's actually, I think, going to start going down. Yeah. So we can't get too much more out of the AJ-1027. All right, so now hopefully we have the right comms. And I'm gonna build this one. Oh, we have tooling things, probably. Oh, okay, minor. Now we're going to build this one. Oh, whatever happened to other probe? Uh, it's probably gone out. Tell us before you leave. Yeah, it probably got ejected out on the previous, on the additional flyby of the moon. There's no notification for that. But does that mean it must still have power then? Because I did turn on the battery notification. But, well, I guess it would have power since it doesn't have to communicate back anymore. It doesn't have the range. All right. Throttle up. Ignition. Four engines and launch. Okay, booster is off. It's gotta be somewhat rough switching to the Viking engines since these have been so reliable. Uh, hey, fairings. Okay, go! Go, Gamma 2s. Should be okay. Definitely want the apoapsis this away. Okay. Well, it's safe to extend the antenna, so I'm going to. The avionics is active there. Let's just shut it down. Save a little bit of charge. Um, so we're gonna go around. Come on, come on, come on. This is already too much though. 
Well, we'll try. Okay, well... I was hoping you'd still thrust, but... I guess not. That last time, the RCS still worked, but... Uh, it's deviating a bit. Okay... Uh, we're not quite there. It's not enough. We're too heavy with the little Commutron 16. Oh, okay, 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 it's going alright. I mean, I don't think we have 113 with this. Okay, well, I need the rest to reorient, I think. Do we really want to keep this, though? I think we'll test the comms and then deorbit it, actually. Re-entry testing, I guess. Here it goes. Okay, complete destruction. Back to Space Center. Solar panel research is done. Perfect. Um, let's get better solar panels. Oh, that's the medium one, though. I don't know. I, th I don't think I had to... I just uh, that was just the medium solar panel I unlocked. I don't think I had to get a separate unlock for the tech level one though. That wasn't much. It was like nine, a uh, ten meters per second. I I thought there would be better upgrade to the solar panels, but apparently they still suck. But maybe power generation one? No, they're still about the same. Um, can we just by default have this as a hundred percent transmission time? I just always have to do that. Oh, it looks like like one meter per second right there. What was it consuming? 34 watts without that avionics active. So let's just... 38 will be fine. We can also get time to ascending and descending node in the rendezvous thingamajiggy. Uh, Okay, let's see... Oh, whatever, let's go. I don't want to wait another day, otherwise we'll be waiting a month. Okay, throttle up, SAS on, ignition. And launch. That's the wrong way around. Well, past the speed of sound and everything. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we have a uh, loss of something or another. No! It all broke apart. Well, I didn't have enough time to shut that thing down. Got a lot of money. Um, let's get... Well, our hangar is the only thing that could get more staff, though. ELA-2 is maxed out already. I think I'm already pushing these. The... I, I've, I've sort of made a common core thing here, but strictly speaking, the burn time of the LR-105s could go longer. The problem is our thrust to weight ratio at the start isn't great. We're totally ignoring those ComSat contracts I have to do. Yeah, that's coming up in a year or so. Better do that. Well, it'll have to be a nighttime thing. Okay. Well, we're launching at nighttime, but we should be more accurate than our previous launches, hopefully, maybe. Alright, throttle up, SAS on, ignition. And launch. And this is still the wrong place. That doesn't seem like a low thrust weight ratio, but it is a low thrust weight ratio. It seems to get off the pad pretty nicely. Oh, uh, that's one of the LR1. Oh no, that's one of the boosters. Failed engine shutdown. It doesn't look like it failed engine shutdown. Okay. Well. Okay, booster set. Oh well, I guess. 
We've been we have been suddenly having a lot of trouble with those. Just after I said that they had been really reliable. Fairings. Well, I'll trust they went off properly. Okay. Time for the Gamma 2s. And there's sunrise up ahead somewhere. I feel like that didn't get us as far up. We were having to get there really fast because we're a little bit late. That's how fast we'd have to go in order to get within the 5,000 kilometer thing. 2,358. Yeah, well, huh? about 200, all right. Now we've got some. They've got less RCS than we had before, so. I don't know if we can count on much there. Keto is our best friend in this situation. Okay. Oh, come on, RCS. I can use H. <laughs> Apparently. H is allowed. I have a throttle up though, it should respond to that in theory, but it should respond to that instead of responding to H, but whatever. Wobbly. Nice apoapsis. Let's see what happens. Okay, well let's that's close. But it says 58 we need. We're probably not fast enough like this. Oh no, we got something. Yeah, we're not getting close enough. Okay, well, I'm gonna reserve the rest in order to orient ourselves. We should be able to get some science out of this, somehow. Maybe. Come on, happy comes. Stay happy. If they don't stay happy, then... We're not going to be able to transmit that science, if we get any. Oh yeah, well, mass spectrometry. Oh, we got some something else already, otherwise we wouldn't get 15. Um, just need two hours of mass spectrometry. And we got to get a chunk, that's 12 points. Oh, there's pressure scan. Okay, well, we didn't complete the contract, but we got science. And I think we got as much science as we're going to get out of this. It's going to go out in an interplanetary trajectory, and it's not going to have comms at that point. It's still transmitting some stuff. Okay, it did get it all done. All right, yes. So, 32.7 science. Moderate reputation, much confidence. Okay. Space Center. Okay, so we're gonna start researching the X-15. We'll hold off on other decisions. We might want entry, descent, and landing. I feel like that would be good. Early flight control would not be bad either. But we can't get both just yet. We really need that low over the moon science, and especially the crashing into the moon science, but I want to design our X-15 plane. We, we can't build it yet, but we can design it. Have we discovered the technology to actually have drop tanks at all? It says space plane, space plane era material science for crossfeed. Space plane era material science is up here. That can't be what we need in order to have drop tanks, is it? They had drop tanks like in the 1950s. They, they were only thinking about the space shuttle, weren't they? They were really trying to avoid the kind of staging where you cross feed the boosters into the core, weren't they? They weren't thinking about planes, were they? <laughs> Oh, with drop tanks. 
Well, the engineers should be really efficient at building Ariana rockets by now. We could probably wait more than one orbit. So, alright. SAS on, throttle is up. And let's just fix that right now. Ignition. And launch. Maybe a black rocket is not the best idea. <laughs> hmm. Okay, booster set. Bearings. Temperature scan? Flying high. Amazing. Okay, separation and ignition. All right, we are in orbit again. I'd like to see a better apoapsis this time. That's a little bit better. Not that much. Okay, well, it's looking like that apoapsis there. It's got to be a bit before the moon is in the right position for that apoapsis to work out. But it's costing less right now. And we're pretty well in line this time. In fact, we can crash into it. It doesn't say we can't crash into it for the 5,000 kilometer one, right? It says fly by the moon within 5,000 kilometers. But it doesn't say we have to not crash into it. So we can still be a lunar impactor. But the Airbnb only has 2,165, so we're looking for the decoupler to help. <laughs> so it's a little bit hard to plan this. Um, it looks like we can hit it on the next orbit, so it looks like we don't have to wait. It's a long trip though, it's six days. We're going past it a little bit, but... Hmm... Go. Oh no! What? It failed! It was just a failure. Finally, the Araby failed us. But... I don't know why we lost comms. Oh! I forgot to extend the stupid Commutatron. Uh It has no comms because I... Uh, see, I knew that extending the Commutatron was going to end up being a problem somehow. Okay, back to Space Center. Let's try and get another one. I'm tempted to have those... Whatchamacallit... Uh, Isogrid tanks. 45,000. I don't know why I don't have this purchased. Should I even have the Isogrid? If I'm gonna replace these big tanks, maybe I should just go balloon with them like Atlas and go with that. Well, let's uh, prospectively check these out. I like that you can do this. Uh, barring potential conventional structure upgrades, 2.152 tons, uh, 1.295 tons, and then 622.7 tons for the same size tank, even though this has more volume. This also has more volume. Um, Cost-wise, the balloon tank would take 36,000 to tool and then 3,500 untooled. Well, nobody cares about untooled. 500 apiece. And basically 500 piece there, but only 12,000 to tool the isogrid structure tank. Oh, fine. We'll, we'll isogrid first. We'll isogrid. No, that's more. Oh, why is it 93? Go. 95, 95. Um, you might be pushing these a little bit long. We got 2 minutes and 15 seconds, they're going for 224. Okay, uh, we need to fill that. It's a little bit more, but it isn't a lot more. Let's just go 4.5 with that. Okay. Uh, that's not too bad. We'll do that too. 
Okay. Okay, one more. Doesn't seem like we have to change anything. Oh no! We can't activate SAS. This is probably a bad idea. But... Anyway, we'll prepare this. Well, I don't know if it'll execute yet or not, but... Okay, ignition. And launch. Okay, execute. <laughs> okay, booster set. Bearing set. Okay, next stage. And before I forget, let me get the Communitron out. Could probably replace this stage with the Isogrid one too. Just didn't want to pull apart everything. Well, that's getting us higher, all right. But now I really think that the decoupler is gonna throw us off. <laughs> I'm worried that the decoupler is gonna throw us off now. We definitely have enough. Okay, separation. And... Ignition. Probably a little bit early there. And it's touchy on the timing. We need to shut down sooner than this is actually going to run out. I'm just gonna go with what it says here. We're definitely early. Okay. Well. Actually, for now, let's shut down the avionics. I've got an approach to the moon that I don't want to mess up. I guess we'll have to bite it. Ooh, that felt like a lot. Um, let's get let's get rid of that. That's Earth Apoapsis. <laughs> we still have an encounter, but that's much higher than I wanted. Okay. It was looking so good briefly, very very briefly. Well. We can do that much for now. Um, does it have enough RCS for that? Killing the spin alone is really hard. We spun it up quite a lot. We just need to be below 5,000 technically. I don't know how low we need to be to get the low over the moon science though. Mm. I want to check our power situation. It should sort of hold out like this. I think we'll leave it as is and take this. I don't know if it's gonna get us a low over science, but uh, maybe I'll do a little bit more. I'm gonna leave its orientation like this. Come on, can I hit it? Can I hit it? Oh, I can't hit it. Let me start spinning. Well, that's all of our fuel. It's probably not gonna spin perfectly, but... Okay, well that should be good enough for the low science. We are recharging for now. It does occur to me that we might be approaching the moon on the side opposite the Earth, though. In which case we can't communicate. Lines will be stretched anyway. But anyway, contract should work. Maybe. It's already checkmarked to collect science thing. Just a little bit more and we can impact. There it is. 
Definitely getting close this time. Alright, we've got our lunar flyby, finally. And we're in communication, so it's a proper lunar flyby. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we've lost comms, but... Come on. Is there no low... Oh, now! Wow, it has to be really low. Good thing we brought it this low, then. Oh, we already went too high for it. I don't think we collected all of it. No, it is transmitting. Okay, well, we've we've successfully done the lunar flyby. Yay. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.